wash and go, I'm going to be using the Wetline Extreme Gel and Melanin Styling Cream. So here are just a few clips of me um, co-washing my hair using a new conditioner by Video 5. And we'll have a separate review for this particular product, which was interesting girl that's all i'm gonna say so i'm gonna go ahead and section my hair off and apply the styling cream to medium to large size sections and then apply my oil mixture on top of that and then using just oh i, I'm, I tend to be a bit heavy-handed so i didn't use as much of the styling cream um but i'm going to use quite a bit of gel to each section but not enough to where i feel like i'm going to get build up and i'm going to rake that through my hair and then in certain sections i will be shingling or twisting um smaller sections okay <music> guys I can't see her because I'm blind this is what my hair looks like wet and what I like to do is shake it my hair I usually do this in the shower now it's supposed to have a side part but girl I need to make sure I get that side part together before it starts to dry I think that's my hair has been trained to lay this way so I think that's I think that's what it is this is what the back looks like So I typically air dry, but because it is heavy and you guys, I can tell my hair is growing because it's getting heavier. One of the first thing I noticed when I got my hair cut or trimmed, excuse me, is how light it was after a wash and go. But um, now I can feel it. I can feel the heaviness coming back. Um, so let me go ahead. I'm a, I like to lightly blow dry it to have it shrink up a little bit and then I, if I don't come back tomorrow, I'll try to come back tomorrow, but I'm hoping to have banging third or fourth day hair, okay? So this is what my hair looks like later on that day. Yes, yeah, still, still wet in some areas. I'm going to take a little bit of oil because I will be blow drying my hair. I tend to use a blow dryer, you guys, off and on um, with a wash and go because honestly, it will take almost three days as you will see here if I allow my hair to air dry. So you're not going to be seeing everything, but I will come back on cam. Here's what my hair looks like. As you can see, more volume, volume of dick, girl. I'm going to turn all the way around to the side and towards the back. What I like to do to help stretch out my wash and goes is do the bending method in about six to eight sections. Um, and I can get a good, I would say six day wear with a wash and go, okay? Are right, you guys so excuse my face because I'm having an acne treatment you will not see this tomorrow so it is almost 24 hours since I did my wash and go and my hair is still wet um, at this point I'm going to go ahead and slightly stretch it using a blow dryer I'm going to section off my hair and I will come back tomorrow for me personally I get best wash and goes by third or fourth day y'all I know I look a mess I'm sorry girl yeah. third or fourth day yeah, yeah. Third or fourth, third or fourth day is the best. Yeah. I'm sorry.
So it is day three and I'm going to take off my head scarf. I had some errands to run this morning. So yeah, girl, I had to put do what I had to do. So this is what my hair looks like stretched out. I'm going to take my time to unravel my hair with these goodie stretchy bands because I don't want to my hair to snag or anything like that. But y'all, my hair is still going to be wet. Yes, day three. And this is after using the blow dryer off and on for the first two days. So it is what it is. So like I said, I'm going to take my time taking down these bands and we're going to continue to style my hair. I'm going to use because I did use um, oil the day before but just a little bit of sweet almond oil which is a very lightweight oil and honestly I would say like a dime piece for the entire section of my head I'm going to lightly separate my hair shake it some more um, and because my hair is still dry in certain excuse me still wet in certain areas I will be taking a blow dryer excuse my child <laughs> I will be taking a blow dryer to my hair okay I put a little bit of a blow dryer to this and I'm gonna turn around to the side into the back okay my hair is still wet right here that's all wet still damp I should say it's not necessarily that wet this is this side so excuse me I will say this is a fluffier wash and go for me um, it's not as crunchy. I've gotten my best wash and go using Cantu before they change the um, formula. Cantu and Echo Style, however, now that gives me flakes. Um, I prefer the definition of the Echo Style, or however, it does not work that well with the melanin and styling cream. I found that this combination works well, but I don't think that my wash and go will last as longer. longer. Um, the Wet Extreme Gel, or Extreme Gel, excuse me, is not as crunchy as the Echo Styler. And again, I have a very fluffy, I couldn't do this with Echo Styler. There's just no way. So anyway, you guys, that is it. Thank you so much for watching. Take care. Bye.